Hi, welcome to Dean Park. This video is all about couplers. If you want to transform the gap between your rolling stock from the coaches at the back to the coaches at the front, stay tuned. I'd like to introduce Hunt Coupling. These are a brand new um, coupling system to the market and they are based on a magnetic connection. As you can see here, two magnets, high powered magnets going together in a resin cut um, design with NEM uh, couplers on each end. Now these come in a variety of different guises. We've got the standard um, coupling pack. We've also got a, a standard stepped coupling pack for use on some coaches that require a little bit of a step in the um, coupler. We've got an HST coupling pack. Now these are to fit the newer NEM fitted um, Hornby HST Mark 3s but don't despair if you've got a run of the older ones like I've got a lot of because they've also produced an HST coupling pack for the old large tension lock design where there's not an NEM pocket fitted. We've also got a close step coupler pack and we've got a, another close coupling pack there. So there's different um, varieties, different products to suit your rolling stock. I'm going to test some of them on my rolling stock in this video, give you my honest feedback and as I said, it's new to the market, I'm all for trying um, new improvements to my rolling stock. So let's go ahead and see what um, they have in store for us. What I've done here is I've taken the rear two coaches and I've used the Hunt close coupling magnetic system and the two coaches at the front are just bog standard Hornby tension locks. As you can see straight away the massive difference and improvement in the distance between the coaches. Now if I was to go back and forward quite vigorously there is no separation in the magnets. Okay so they are a powerful magnet and I'll run them on the, the layout to check the clearance with the coach so we've obviously got no coach rub we don't want to be damaged in the end of our coaches and I have to say straight off the bat what an improvement visually. Okay, you saw shots there of the Mark II East from Hornby go around the layout. They're very close, but there was no kissing or touching of the coaches, which is important to me, as I don't want damage on the paintwork of my coaches, especially with the price of things these days. This is just using the standard close coupler from Hunt Coupling, and I was a bit sceptical, thinking, well, how, how good can magnets be at, you know, obviously, the strength of them? But when I actually pulled the the rolling stock backward and forward. Bear in mind there's a heavy loco not turning its wheels here, so there's only a bit of drag. There's no separation of the magnets at all, so it just shows the strength involved with the actual coupling mechanism. So it really is a, a thumbs up for me regarding the, the standard close coupler. Right, what I've got here is the rear two coaches are the standard tension lock on the, the spring couplers from Backman. The ones at the front are the stepped close couplers from Hunt Coupling. Now, I'll take it off the track just now and show you the underside to explain what I mean by stepped. But as you can see, the gap is almost non-existent between the two coaches with the improved um, close coupling mechanism. And they're easy to separate, as you can see. Okay, so there we go. And again, vigorous back and forward there's no separation of the coaches. Let's have a look at the step coupler. Um, the two couplers down here, this here is a, a standard where the NEM shaft if you like goes into the magnet head in the middle. With the stepped one as you can see the NEM 
shaft goes into the, the magnet at the side, so it's stepped. Now, the reason they've done this is that some Backman coaches and Backman locos sit at different heights with a coupler, and they found this in the case of the Mark I. So, it allows you to have it in a stepped up or stepped down, in this case a stepped down position, to align with the, the relevant local correctly. Daypol, for example, or Helian, their couplers from their locos are at a slightly different height. So this allows a bit of, um, shall we say, adjustment, so that your loco is picking up the magnet at exactly the correct height. Now, another thing that Chris from Hunt Couplings has told me is that when he's got a rake of, say, Mark 1s, he fits B magnets at both ends of the rake, and always an A on the loco. So he can obviously um, shunt the loco round at each end, and it doesn't matter, it'll still pick up the coaches. There'll be no A meets A, or B meets B, where obviously the magnets will force each other apart. So that's what he recommends for, say, a rake of coaches. You fit a B at each end, and the locos are lettered A. This is why you'll find that when you buy a pack from them, they come in packs of, say, five. So you've got that extra coupler set, if you like, to adjust and have um, two B's at both ends or whatever you want to do. So that's why they would come in an odd number pack. So you're going to get yourself five sets of couplers. So I hope that's um, maybe given you another bit of food for thought there with regard to fitting these to the locals as well and the variations in the heights you can achieve. You can put a, a single height coupler all the way through any of the coaches but the step was just to allow that um, coupling to locos with different coupler heights. We've got a yet another variation in the, the coupler. In this case, it's a standard length stepped coupler. Um, you get obviously the standard length, standard coupler without the step, but what I've done here in the coaches at the front, I've fitted the standard um, stepped coupler, and obviously at the back is the standard tension lock from Backman. They have brought them closer together, but not as close as the close coupler step. And this might suit people who've got tighter radius curves on their layout, or on their storage yards or helixes or something. Okay, so you, you may want to have a situation where you've got a standard coupler as opposed to the, the close coupler. I have to say, even with the standard distance, they do make a big improvement on that of the, the standard um, tension lock. Another benefit of putting the magnets to the Mark I, say, as opposed to the the close couplers you get from Backman in the pack, which can appear as a, kind of a, a cable or a pipe, um, is that you can take them apart easier. I've got a rake of parcel coaches that I've got the, the Backman close coupled pipe. And if I want to get rid of one coach from the rake, it's an absolute nightmare because I had to almost take all the rest off the track to get to the NEM pocket. So these magnets are going to save me a heck of a lot of time with altering my, my rakes around. Right, here I've fitted the front two coaches with the NEM HST coupler and as you can see the front two coaches are a little bit closer than the rear. Now the rear ones use the Rocco style coupler um, in an NEM pocket so Hornby really have made massive improvements with the coupling mechanism on their standard Mark 3s but even so putting the Hunt couplers on the, the coaches have brought them even closer together. So what I'll do now is I'll run it around the layout and see how they cope with various radius of curve.
Up until around about 2018, the standard coupler on the Hornby Mark III was this thing. And it's not AEM um, fitted, so you couldn't put a close coupling system to it. By the way, these bogies just clip from the, the bottom of the coach. Be careful not to break the lugs, but um, they do come off. If you've got the lit coaches like these ones, one end's got the pickups with the wire, so avoid that, because they've only um, got pickups at one end, so I've just unclipped this one. To get the old coupler off, it's quite straightforward. There's kind of two clips here, and I'll just prise them off. And the coupler comes out, and there's a small piece that comes off here. Okay, put that to one side. If I get the coupler, the other coupler there, by the way, they're marked A and B, okay, so you know which pairs to match up. And you just put that in there, in the, the hole that's already there for it, and then you clip the coupler back on to the top to hold that in place like so. And there you go, it's been updated. How long did that take? So make sure that's held securely and clip the coach back in, or the coupler back into the coach, like so. And there you go, make sure it's rotating freely. And I'll put these on the, the track and show you the improvement. Well, one word springs to mind, wow. What a difference, what an improvement in what was a pretty horrific, if I'm being honest, gap between the coaches and now look at them using the hunt coupling system with the magnets how close they are they're as close as the NEM fitted in Mark 3's they really have brought them bang up to date I mean this is a game changer this one an absolute game changer looking at this executive livery Mark 3 I've just put the close couplers onto them um, and as I indicated earlier each coupler has a an A and a B part. Now I'd recommend that you fit one end of the coach with an A and the other end of the coach with a B. This um, will solve or negate any polarity issues that you might have when joining up coaches. Okay, You can just simply switch them around um, from the A to the B side to, to make sure they couple up. Obviously you can't have two A's going together, they will obviously force their way apart. This HST power car has been fitted with the stepped um, coupler. Obviously, um, you couldn't just put a straightforward, normal close coupler from the back of the power car because it's a different height to the coaches. Hornby have kind of got round this by putting a step tension lock in with an NEM pocket, it has to be said, but this magnetic one certainly brings them closer together with the leading coach. So when you see these running the layout, you'll really notice the difference. Another real bonus of these couplers is removing this rolling stock from the track. It's it's so much simpler than the tension locks. For example, you just pull apart and there you go. What I'm going to do in this clip is I'm going to have the HST at speed and the power car is going to be at the rear pushing the train and I'm going to cut the power like you would have in the case of a, say, a short circuit or an emergency stop on the, the system and we'll see if any of the coaches separate. Well that test showed that there was no separation at all um, even with the loco pushing from the back and the lighter coaches and power car at the front. So that is really impressive. 
Well, that's it for this video on the Hunt coupling system. I hope you've enjoyed it and agree with me the transformation it's made to the gaps between the, the coaches. It really has been an eye-opener for me, especially with the Mark III's from Hornby, and I'll be converting my HST fleet over to these couplers in the coming months. If you want to buy any of these products, um, you go to www.westhillwagonworks.co.uk and the link is in the description below. If you have any questions or comments on these, please get in touch. Cheers for now.